said that. Um, I also wanted to show you a video, um, just because Matt is so cool with his videos, but we have a video too of the um, LRS because my talk is basically um, focused on the LRS, which Edith also talked about. Um, however, apparently that's not technologically feasible. Right? <laughs> Jennifer won't let me. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I would tell you that if, if, if you're interested in learning more, James Frizzy talked about that a few minutes ago also, that there is a video on the ITS website. I don't feel like I have this thing in the right place. Um, that kind of shows you, like the learning, learning Glass video, what the room can offer you and, and uh, the coolness of it. So Jessica and I both teach in the room, and so does Edith. Um, and we, uh, Jessica and I, were going to talk about, uh, and I'm going to talk about, how we have tried to assess um, not just our courses, but how is that room enhancing our delivery of our course and the student outcomes. What did I do with this thing? So um, I'm going to kind of tell you about Jessica's class, but <laughs> I don't really know about it. Um, she teaches born digital literature, is what she called it. Um, and Basically, what she's showing here, I don't, that looks like a really nice um, fancy bracelet to me, so I don't understand what that is. Sorry, got the email this morning. Um, but basically, um, she's showing breakout sessions of students, and this is the LRS in action. Um, you can see that there's um, sort of clusters of students, and they have their own monitor, which Edith talked about. And I don't know what the ad, I don't, I'm sorry, I really don't know what she's doing there, but basically they are working in groups and here's a shot of the room. You can see that each student group has um, uh, their own monitor that they can, you know, gather around and work on projects. And there they are again. <laughs> And uh, she also had a Skype guest speaker. Um, and so this is, you know, cool stuff that you can do in these rooms. And then she has her student feedback. Um, she showed the comments. Now, we developed a survey, or, you know, basically that's been, I've, I'm also an ITS faculty fellow, and I've been working on trying to um, create a community of faculty who teach in these rooms to sort of share ideas and um, get data, as um, James was saying, so that we can show, prove um, with evidence that these rooms really are um, fabulous. And uh, not just that we love them because they're cool, but they actually do help us with uh, student learning outcomes, realizing them more fully. So here's, you can see her student um, comments are enthusiastic. Um, so I'm going to move into my course now. I think I know what I do in my course, but... Um, so I'm not going to go into massive detail about my course, but basically I teach writing. And so I wanted to just focus in on here are the projects. Um, I can do these projects in any classroom, but the way I teach it in this room is so different um, because I can, basically. Um, I... Uh, I can do so much more interactive learning in that room in an easy way because of those clusters. And so instead of just having these writing projects be individual um, activities, uh, they are all collaborative. They hand in their own and they get graded on their own, but they work collaboratively the entire time except for the group project at the end, or not at the end, it's throughout the course where they do presentations and um, uh, those groups work as a team all semester, but then I do group work all the time. So this, this I took actually some screenshots from the video. Um, this is, that's my hand. Um, <laughs> circling, to show that you can give full class instruction. Um, you, there's a smart board and 
Um, it's, you know, I have it, there's this thing called the classroom mode where it's on uh, all of the monitors around the room. And then there's a thing called the breakout mode where they're on their own and they've got their own computer. And so, for example, going back to that, I was explaining a revision uh, focus that I wanted them to take on their writing that day. And so in the groups, then, they're looking at a document, so one of the students' documents, and they're helping each other f identify um, whatever it is that I've tasked them to do. Sometimes they're, each table's doing a different thing, and then they will present it. I can put it back on the classroom mode, and they can all um, present to the class uh, sort of an analysis of the revision instead of just revising in isolation, and it makes a big difference. So, um, you know, I'm in love with this, this classroom, I'll, I'll admit it. It's time for a little, little um, love here. Um, but is it as good for them as it is for me? That question we always, you know, all, all good love affairs. Um, so how do we determine that? So I have a few surveys. I love surveys. Um, one is my own. Well, I should say, first of all, as we all know, the course evaluations. Um, and they, they, they help at a certain level, um, university-wide, but they're, they're generic in a lot of ways. So um, I want to know about my course. And so specifically, this, all this group work that I've sort of um, redesigned my course around, is it, is it helping them or is this just something that seems fun to do? Um, so this is an example of my very uh, low-tech version um, that I have them do in class on the last day and they, you know, they mark it up. Um, and this is uh, not the only one that was like this. <laughs> Pretty much everybody's very happy. Um, then this online survey that we created this semester for um, all the faculty in the LRS to use um, through just use SurveyMonkey. And this really helped us to have some of that data that James was talking about to show these rooms really are um, helping us achieve our learning outcomes better. Um, and so, for example, I just pulled a few questions to show you um, sort of I think I'm doing a bunch of different cool stuff in my class. Do they think it also? Um, and, and they do. It's a good mix. So this is just, you know, what, what are you experiencing here? Um, I like this classroom uh, for this course. And you can see that it's heavily weighted in the, the yes. And yes. Um, same survey you, you uh, gave your students. Kathy's another LRS person. Um, facilitates interaction between students and instructor. This is the thing that, you know, I really care about because, again, I want to make sure that my perception is in line with what, how they're experiencing it. So, um, again, I felt very good about these results and their interaction with each other as well. Um, they really are working on things together. They're not just sitting and texting their friends. Um, they really are doing something together. And the way the room is designed, it's really, uh, it would be hard for them not to be because it's very, they're very visible and I'm walking around and I'm interacting with everybody while they work. So um, this is the, the most important question, I suppose. And again, it's, it's got a really good positive um, response, very strong. Um, the strongly disagree person, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Just one person. Um, can't please everybody. So um, their comments also, I just, um, you know, cut and pasted a few that I thought were, you know, they were really overwhelmingly positive. And this is just uh, a little snippet. I've never looked at my notes this whole time. I was so busy trying to read Jessica's description of her course. So, uh, yeah, I think I've said just about what I want to say. So, um, basically, it, what, in terms of this, the theme of this day using evidence, um, 
the, the surveys really provide good evidence of what we're doing is working. Of course, there's always more tweaking to do. Um, but I feel really confident moving forward with what I'm doing, building on it, and uh, I never want to not teach in that classroom. <laughs> in fact, I refuse to not teach. <laughs> James. <laughs> so that, that's really all I have to say. Remember, Jessica was supposed to be here, too. Are there any...